Yo, yo, we back with another one, and another one, and another one, man. I got a special guest for y'all today. She got a single, flaming up the streets right now. Man, we missed that SOB. She should have pulled that SOB with all the <laughs> ladies, man. We missed out there, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but more opportunities to come. Yes, always. So without further ado, go ahead and introduce yourself. Okay, which camera I'm looking at? Okay. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's the real rich girl, and I'm from Jersey. I'm out here in Orlando though for a little bit. I'm a rapper, entrepreneur, content creator, accountant. You name it, I could do it. Oh, damn! I ain't know all that. Yeah. Jack all trades. Of course, gotta get to a bag at all times. Hear that? So, tell us a little bit about yourself, your upbringing. Cause you say you're from Jersey. I'm mm -hmm. trying to figure out how a Jersey girl come. All the way to Florida, for real, because Florida is a definitely a culture shock. Yeah. Well, I actually used to live in Florida when I was in middle school, but um, ended up moving back to Jersey. But my upbringing was pretty cool. Um, I had my mom and a father figure in my life. Also, my dad as well, you know what I'm saying? But at the time, I was always living with my mom. So, um, yeah, like I went to school in Jersey since I was born to, like, middle school. Middle school, I was in Florida. I got a little... White side from Florida, I feel like, mm -hmm. and I didn't carry it with me everywhere I go. But um, then I went back to Jersey, and ever since then I've been in Jersey. But I really, what you want to know, like how I start rapping and stuff, or what? No, like what was you doing as a kid though? Like was you in the sports? Oh. Was you a cheerleader? Um, was you a bookworm? Like what? What you had going on? Look, I <laughs> back when I was in high school, I was a band geek. Like I was in Ooh, the band, that's yeah, lit. not the marching band though. Like just the regular, like during school, like one of my electives was band. So like since middle school. I've been playing instruments, so I know how to play, like, the clarinet, the flute, the trumpet, all type of different percussion instruments and stuff. Like, I just wanted to try everything. So I know how to play a lot of instruments, and I think that's where my musical, like, talent started picking up all the way back from then. And then it just carried me on till now. Um, high school and middle school, I did track, too. I took it more serious than middle school, high school. When I got in there, I was like, I'm just here to chill with my friends. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? I was just that. going through the motions, you know what I'm saying? But it was mad fun, and I got, like, a lot of experiences and stuff from that. But, yeah, I definitely did track, and I was in a band. I know everybody be like, oh, the band is so, like, nerdy and stuff like that. But I'm really a nerd for real, so. Hey, I mean, the band is more close-knit than any, like, club in school. They always sticking together. They always going to events together. Right, but I ain't, I ain't really hang with them, though. I ain't going to lie. Why? Why you hang out with the band Cause they, people? Because they was weird. Uh, <laughs> they was weird. Like, I feel like I was the cool kid in the class. Like, it was just like, all right, like, I'm about to do this and get out of here. Like, I don't know. It wasn't really like, it was cool. Like, the people that I sat next to and stuff, but, like, a lot of the people was definitely weird. So, I mean, but they, they geniuses at the end of the day. I feel like and a lot everybody of, genius in their own way, you know. Yeah, I feel like everybody who does band is like, they have some type of, they got some like type something of. Going on yeah, up there. yeah, they might yeah. be working for real. <laughs> yeah. So. So now that you know how to play those instruments, how you got into music? What was the what was the attraction of music for you? Um, I feel like I always did like I always loved music. I just didn't know maybe like what aspect I really wanted to go down. But I guess I started rapping in college actually, which was probably like 2018, 2019. Um, and really one of my friends, he already a rapper. Shout out to Montana. Um, he was at the studio basically and a bunch of my friends was already there and I was just bored. He was like, yo, try to pull up to the studio on some vibes. I'm like, all right, cool. I pulled up. All my other friends was already on the song though. I didn't know. So I'm just pulling up for the vibes though. So when I pulled up, they was like, yo, like everybody on the song, you might as well hop on it. I'm like, no, nah, like I do not mm. rap. Like I'm again, I'm just here for the vibes. They like, no, nah, just do it. Just do it. I'm like, all right, let me listen to the beat. And I'm one of them. Like you ain't, I ain't no bitch. You feel me? So like, as soon as a motherfucker try to put me up to the test, I'm like, oh, you think I can't do it? I right, bet. Like, let me just try it anyway. So I was like, all right, let me see it. Boom, I threw the headphones on. And I really just started writing some stuff. Like, just like, I ain't know what I was doing, you feel me? And then after I wrote the song, I went and recorded it. It took me like two takes to record my little part. And they was like, dang, like, you never did this before? I'm like, no, like, this is my very first time ever doing anything like this. And they was like, all right, little, we about to see how it sound. After I played the song, everybody was gassed up. Like, everybody was gassed up. They was like, yo, like, that joint was fire, da, da, da. So I'm, like, still thinking they gassing. So then I go and post it on Instagram. I had made, like, a little trailer or whatever. I posted on Instagram. When I tell you, like, 
I'm not even guessing. Like, I think like 50 people had slid up. Like, yo, this shit fire. You need to take it serious. Da, 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 da. And I'm just looking like, what the hell? Like, this was playing. Like, I was literally playing. And they was like, no, like, you need to take this shit serious. So I was like, okay, like, still not really listening to them though. So I was just like, okay, I went back home to my um, dorm though. And after that, I had just started listening to some beats on YouTube. And I was just like, let me see, like, what I could do. You know what I'm saying? So I had my phone set up on the dresser. And I had <laughs> I had it on voice memo. And I had the beat going in the background off, off the TV. And I'm standing there trying to do a whole song in one take, like, trying to just take the breaths and everything. And so I was literally in my room. I made, like, four or five songs in one night. And I was just like, damn, like, I like doing this. Like, that's fire. And then ever since then, it was just something I really wanted to do. But I just didn't know if I wanted to take it serious. But... As life went, you know what I'm saying? I was just like, fuck it. I think this is something I really want to do because I kept coming back to it, kept coming back to it. Like, That's how it, be it was a it. hobby, yeah. It was something I just wanted to do at nighttime. I'm like, damn, I'm fried. I'm like, shit, I want to write some music because <laughs> I'm listening to some beats or something. I just started writing. The next thing I know, I'm just catalog got like 30, 40 songs. I'm looking at that shit like, damn, I think I should really do some shit with this. So then now we're here. Definitely. Yeah. So how you grow the support system for real? Because I seen. When you shot your music video, you had everybody pull up on you. Yeah, you everybody come support you. Yeah, and it was genuine support. Everybody just wanted to be in your space. Yes. So how did you grow that? Um, honestly, I'm gonna just have to shout out to my manager on that one because I'm not from Florida, but she's from Florida, so she has all the connects and she ha she knows everybody out here in Orlando, Jacksonville, Miami, all these different places. I'm just here in Orlando, you know what I'm saying, trying to figure out where I fit in. I pull up to the studio. I mean, I pulled up to the music video. She told me, like, we been, we already been promoting the video, though. Like, I had mad videos and stuff on my Instagram and everything, pushing it. Like, everybody pull up. But nobody really know me out here. I only did two shows out here. I did one at Classic Weekend and one at Nightmare on Bay Street in Jacksonville. So I was like, you know, I don't know if anybody really going to come. Mind you, I get there. It's already some cars pulling up. So I'm like, oh, shit. Like, okay, we going to see how this go. After, I think, maybe 20 minutes, I was like, let me go change. Let me go change, because there's people pulling up. Like, the video finna start, let me go pull up, let me go change everything. So I change, I come back out, and it's mad people. And it's like, they had like little furry people with the little mascot heads and stuff. And I'm looking like, where all these people come from? I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? Like, I was so shocked. And it was really like, whoever she knows, her and her team, like, marketing team or whatever they got going on, they did an amazing job. Like, I didn't know that many people was going to come. Then there was an after party, and that was also promoted in like an hour. They promoted that party in an hour and had a whole party full of people pulling up. I didn't even know that all of this was even happening. She threw all of this for me. Like, it was a whole rich girl after party. All these people start pulling up. I'm dancing with them. I'm lit. Like, we turning up. And I just got to know mad people from Jacksonville. So now I got a whole Jacksonville fan base now because they all fucking with me and shit. So it was just like, it was really a shock for me. But as far as your question asking me, like, how I was able to do it, it was just having a good team behind me, you know what I'm saying, and just pulling everything together for me, for real. Definitely. That's lit. Yeah. When I seen it, I'm like, damn. Who are you who, telling? Who, who, who famous girl this shit? You know what <laughs> right. I was like, yo, like, yeah, That's crazy. lit. So tell us a little bit about your music and how you came up with that new track you got, Heating Up the Streets. Uh, Let's see. Can you repeat your question again? How you got the new track, Heating Up the Streets, so hard like that? Um, I would just say, honestly, a lot of my music that I'm dropping right now is, like, maybe from a year or two ago. So in that mindset, I was in college, you know what I'm saying, about to get out of college, and that was just my mindset at the time, like, yeah, I'm that bitch that call me rich girl, this pussy is so expensive, make a nigga buy a richer, you know what I'm saying, you know, you know I got that splat, but it ain't about my pussy, why I keep on coming back, bad bitch with a bag, you know he got attached, right? That whole mm -hmm. thing just came from, like, me being me. Like, I really feel like all of my music is just about how I'm feeling that day. Like, I was really on my shit, you know what I'm saying? I was on my shit, and I was on some shit like, yeah, I'm ready to pop my shit. Do that track mm -hmm. one, and honestly, that was one of the songs that I had from the TV and the voice memo, you know what I'm saying? But I just brought it back, re-recorded it, edited a couple little bars and stuff, next thing you know. I made a song and it dropped. Definitely. Yeah. So now, get into the music again. What is other hobbies that you have that you do other <clears> than <throat> the music? Um, well, I don't know if you would I guess you can consider it a hobby, but uh when I get like new stuff, I like to just make reviews of it. <laughs> like not even just reviews, but like me using it and like me testing it out and stuff like that. Like so I guess you could say content creation is a hobby for me, but I actually turned it into an actual stream of income. So Definitely. it became all my hobbies that I like to do, I've turned them all into like streams of income. So like rapping obviously, but it's not even just rapping. I'm like 
a whole artist. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to just put myself in a box as a rapper. But rapping, I made that self uh, stream and come from that. Content creation, I made a stream from that. And I really just like to be creative. So, like, making beats, you know what I'm saying? I like to make beats. I like to just play with my dog and make videos with my dog. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really have too many other hobbies. I like to cook. I definitely like to cook. And I really feel like I could cook anything. Oh, like, man. if you tell me, like, you got to give me the recipe, though. You feel me? Like, give me the recipe. I know what I'm doing, though, and I can really cook some shit up. Well, yeah, I like to cook. I like to sing, but I can't sing. So, yeah. Is there a way you're going to try to fix that? Oh, of course. I'm going to take some singing classes because I like to do R&B, too. Like, I like to slow it down and get into my bag, get my feelings and stuff. So, I definitely want to tune my voice a little more so that way I can really hit them notes on them songs. You feel <laughs> me? Like, definitely. Yeah. So, tell us about the cooking. I want to know about the cooking. We're like, what's your favorite dish to make? Um, I like salmon, asparagus, and mashed potatoes. I mean, but that's me because I only I don't eat like pork and beef and stuff like that. So it's really, really? just I'm limited. Yeah, you feel me? My options are limited, like chicken or fish or like shrimp and stuff. So I'm not gonna say no. Oh, shrimp alfredo, like come on now. So it's just <laughs> like yeah, salmon, asparagus, mashed potatoes, like that's my go-to meal for real. So you you not eating? Chi- I mean, you not eating beef and pork. Mm-mm. How is that like for like your that's health? That's your heart. Line? That's your heart to not do. Health wise, it's been great though. I feel a difference. My body actually feel a different. Cause I see a difference. You know what I'm saying? After I eat a meal, now I don't be so tired all the time, ready to just knock out, got the itis and shit. You feel me? Like I don't really be having that. Um, I don't know. I just it definitely make me feel a lot better. Like, and I just feel like <laughs> I'm different. Like when I go places, like they be like, oh, they got this, that, and the third. I'm like, oh, I can't eat that. Like, it look low key make me feel a little bougie. Like, <laughs> I gotta get the fish, I gotta get the salmon. Like, you know, but like, yeah, like I really do be missing them steaks and the bacon, like all that shit. Oh my god, like that shit's so good. I'm, I'm really a foodie, to, bro. I'm a foodie, and I that shit was good. Day. That feels Damn, so good. Bro. Yo, they got all these new burgers and shit coming out. I'm like, bro, let me just get a bite. But I really am strong on my self discipline on that. Like, I really haven't eaten a lot of stuff in a long time. So what made what made you want to change it though? With the health on Netflix. The, I watched it. Oh, what the hell? Did that? you watch it yet? No. That's why you still eating that shit. You got to watch it. I swear to God, you ain't going to want to eat none of that shit no more. For real. Even though I've seen it. Especially pork. You eat pork? Not not all the time. Okay, well, don't eat that no more. Well, I'm not going to tell you what that is, <laughs> but just watch the thing. Just watch the thing, and you have your own opinion about it, and you can go about it how you want. But yeah, that's why I stopped eating it. What the hell? If y'all didn't watch it, go watch it right now. I ain't going to lie. Like, I I, it's hard for me to give it a copy. Like, bro, I, love, I love ribs. I was just talking just, about some ribs the other day. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I love ribs. I can't yeah. give up on the ribs. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I just, it's hard. I had ribs just now before we got here. Damn. So, Nick, you just said you had steak, bro. So I, you had steak and ribs? So I went to the strawberry festival first. Okay. I, had I steak see at, she was over there. Yeah, I had, I had a steak over there. A steak at the strawberry festival? No, like it was like bits and pieces of steak. And then oh. I had, I had, uh, we went to Outback and then I just had some ribs. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So it's like, I, I don't know. I can't. Give it up too much, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's on you. That's on you. Everybody, it's eat, to each his own. You feel me? To each his own. So, you can love up on them ribs if you want. Go ahead. That's great for you. Like I wish I could. Like <laughs> it's really good. It's just every time I'm one of the people. I'm very mental with it. Like every time I'm about to take a bite, I just think about that shit, and I be like, Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Like I don't want nothing. Nah, I'm straight. Definitely. Yeah. So tell us about the content creation and how you was able to turn into a stream of income. Because there's a lot of people out there that want to do the same thing you're doing, yeah. and they don't know how to go about it. So what is ways you changed it into a source of income for real? Um. So. I guess you could say like back during COVID. Uh, I want to say COVID, like last year. Last year, um, I was just on some like I didn't have a job at the time, but it was like an option. You know what I'm saying? Why well, I didn't have a job? But I just didn't have a job, and I was just like, what can I do that's gonna like make me go out the box? You know what I'm saying? And really get some money from this. But I really didn't know. I went on TikTok. TikTok is gonna teach you everything. I was scrolling on TikTok and I saw some some girl was talking about some UGC creator something. They make a thousand dollars in two days. I'm like. Let me see what this shit is. I look up on there. I'm like, okay. It said I got to make videos. I do that already. You know what I'm saying? I already do that. So I'm like, I can get paid from doing this shit. But she told me to go on this app called Fiverr. F-I-V-E-R-R. That's the app called, right? I went on there. I, and mind you, you got to do your research. Before I do anything, I always do my research. So I went and showed, like, what do I have to do to get customers? Like, I went and looked that up on TikTok, everything. So basically, they told me, like, create a little video just saying, like, oh, what kind of videos you could do? So you could say, like, oh, um, I can make get ready with me. I can make product reviews, whatever, you know what I'm saying, blah, blah, blah. And they basically, 
a lot of people were just like I guess attracted to my video and they just started doing orders like I think I made my account I don't know exactly the day but I made my account one day and within a week no not even a week it was two days I got my first order most people don't get their first order for like a month or two and so the fact that mm. I got it even within the first week I was like oh shit like this might be something. So you so, basically started on Fiverr. Yes, Fiverr. Uh. So basically through Fiverr, they give you like, not give you customers, but like that's where a lot of people go to find UGC creators to make um, videos for their products. So I guess they find me and they be like, yo, I want to book her. Last year was my first year doing it. And I started it in February. What's my month is this? March? Yeah. In a year on Fiverr, I made $10,000. So my first year of doing it, I made ten thousand dollars doing it, wow. and so I, mind you, and I took a I took a break for two months last year. So imagine if I didn't even take the break, I would have had way more. But I took a whole break, and basically once I got back on, picked right back up like it was nothing. And so basically, yeah, like now I just got a um. That's lit as hell. I, yeah, I just got an offer from like this company that I was working for on Fiverr, and they were like, "Hey, like, ooh, Fiverr, if y'all listening, mind your business." Um, they were like, "Let's take this off Fiverr," you know what I'm saying? Because Fiverr be taking twenty percent of your earnings, and I'm like, "I need all my coins." So I'm like, "Let's, what you talking about?" So basically, they were like, "Yeah, email us, you know what I'm saying? Let us know you want to do it, and let's do it." So I was like, "Okay." Got on the phone, a Zoom with her. This girl, bro, she told me, she was like, "How much you um normally charge per video?" I said, "I charge one hundred twenty dollars per thirty second video." She said, okay, we're going to pay you 200 Bitch, you finna pay me $200 for one video? Uh, one 30-second video? Okay. $200 in 30 seconds is yes. crazy. Yes. So I was just like, hold up. I was like, okay, so like, how many of these deals can I do? You know what I'm saying? Because don't tell me that because I'll go make 10 videos today. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, how many can I do? She was like, as many, of, as, the, uh, as many videos as we have available is as many videos as you can do. So I was like, so if I could do 10 videos in a week, I could do that? She said, yeah, you can make 10. I was like, um, she said, if you do only 10, 10 videos per month, that's already $2,000. Now, look, break it down, that's 500, 500, 500, 500. To me, like, that's cool, but I need more. Like, I need more <laughs> than that. So I'm just like, okay, bet. Like, I'm trying to run it up. So that was just a new thing that she just um, approached me, like, last week. So it's like, I'm still on my journey, you know what I'm saying, working, it, working my way up and stuff. But that's where I started a year ago. I wasn't making no money doing this. And there's so many people out there today that literally sit there and be making videos just for fun on TikTok. Like, oh, I just went to TJ Maxx. Let me show them my little haul or whatever. Like, y'all can get paid for doing that. Like, a lot of money. So it's just like, listen, if y'all make content, y'all love content, whatever, make some money off of that shit. Go on Fiverr and get y'all some customers. That's lit. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I need, yeah. to, I need to tap in with that. I yeah, need... you definitely do. And it's not, it, they don't discriminate or anything. It's not like you have to have a lot of followers or anything because it's just based off like, I need you to make this video for my company so I can post it on my page. You know what I'm saying? So they just need people to make their videos for them. It could be like an insurance video, like somebody like, oh, I need to do some insurance. You know what I'm saying? Can you make a video and promote my business? Okay. You know what I'm saying? 30 little second video, 200, like. I'm going to go tap in yeah, tonight. Go ahead. <laughs> tap there. in. Go ahead. So how are you able to juggle all the stuff that you do? How's how's your life? Like, How do you keep yourself organized when you're able to do all these things in one day or this whole week? Um, I have a whiteboard in my house, and it's like takes up the whole wall, and I just write everything down. So I have like my EP. I have like every name of each song do you like this name of that song is it mastered and recorded do you have the video for it is it ready to go you know what i'm saying i have check marks you know what i'm saying so i'm very organized when it comes to like trying to juggle everything because if you have a bunch of things going on and you're not organized that's a disaster so get y'all a whiteboard the whiteboard has helped me a lot like i don't even put on there like my to-do list for the day and i'll just write down like the night before what i need to do on there and once i write it down the next day i wake up i already know what i'm doing so it's like you got to play your days out before the next day, so that way you wake up already knowing what you're doing. That's lit. Yeah. A lot of people say that, but a lot of people think that's cliche to, to like, write down your stuff before you do it, because they think, Whoa. they hear a lot of people say it, but nobody's really, like, showing the the reward from what they're doing. Well, go ask some billionaires. I bet you they'll tell you that they wrote that shit down, too. Like, it's no <laughs> way that you doing stuff and you not right. Like, it, it, your brain is just not going to comprehend all of them things at once, because even me, like, I feel like I got a little case of ADHD or something, you know what I'm saying? And I be forgetting stuff all the time. So it's just like, I know myself that I can't trust myself. Like, I'll tell somebody, like, remind me to do this, and they won't remind me, and I'll forget too. So it's like, now nothing getting done. So it's like, I always have to write everything down. But that's why I have it on the whiteboard, because the whiteboard is, like I said, it covers the whole wall of my house. So I'm walking past it every day. So I'm looking at it, you know what I'm saying? I'm seeing what I got to do. Like, okay, 
I'm just bored as hell walking around the house. I look at the board. Oh, shit, I got to go to the grocery store and get this. You know what I'm saying? Like, stuff like that, it really happened. Like, all you got to do is just write it down and put it in front of you so that way you can't miss it. You know what I'm saying? Don't write it on a piece of paper, put it on your desk, and you never go back to that paper again. Like, it's not going to work like that. So, what about the phone? Like, do you don't use your notes or calendar? I have probably over 2,000 notes in my phone. That shit is going to get lost. Like, I, I write everything down. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I write everything down. Like, I'll have a note that's got one little thing on it, like strawberries. Just so I remember that when I go to the grocery store, I have to get strawberries. Like, it just be like. I'm the same stuff. way, though. I'm yeah, the same like, way. I write every. Like, either type it. If I don't have paper with me and I'm out somewhere, I'll type it in my phone. But if I'm like at home and I know it's like a to do list or like trying to organize my day and stuff, I'll definitely use the whiteboard. Definitely. So, what's your goals for the year? Because we we still early. We in March. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Can I take a lip gloss break? Yeah, I need a lip gloss ahead. break. I feel like I need some more. Yeah, go ahead. So, what's your goals for this year? Like, what you trying to accomplish? Any features? Any people you want to work with? Anything you want to, like, really take over and get everything done? <clears throat> so, I think this year, um, if a feature comes my way that I feel like would fit my persona, yeah, but I think that this year I'm really focused on myself because I'm trying to just put myself out there, you know what I'm saying, build my audience up, stuff like that. I want to do a feature with Trina. I want to do a feature with Lil Tyler just because I'm in Florida and I'm feeling the Florida vibes. Like, I'm feeling it out here, and I feel like I definitely want to kick it with Lil Tyler. Um, shit, who else? This year, though, like, I'm definitely saying Trina. Like, it's giving Trina. Mm, for sure. Yeah. Why Trina though? Out of all the females you could have chosen, Be because I feel like I wanna I wanna start off by respecting the people who was here before me. You know what I'm saying? I wanna start off with working with somebody like Trina. That way, it's like I'm not coming in just on some shit. Like I don't I don't really care about anybody else who's here. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm here to just do me, do me, do me. Like I'm I'll just say I don't want to sound cliche, but like I really am a girl's girl, and I feel like me what me working with Trina would just be like a power collab because it's like I come off well a lot of my music comes off in the same way that she used to talk back in the day on her songs mm. so it's like okay she got that little nasty little raunchy vibe but she still be spitting that shit you feel me so it's mm -hmm. like that's how I be you know what I'm saying like it's like I could be raunchy and nasty but I could also spit some real shit and really have a nigga like damn you feel me so it's like Trina definitely definitely my number one like feature for this year and I feel like because I already like Kind of made a little bit of couple connections and stuff. So that's something that could maybe be in the work soon, but we ain't going to say too much about that. Definitely. So you as a female, yeah. what are like some of the struggles you go through? What's some of the lessons and the struggles you have to go through being in this industry? Because a lot of females have their own lessons and struggles they go through. So what are yeah. some of yours? Well, for starters, I'm sure like a lot of girls have is – niggas not trying to just keep it straight business like that right there is going to kill the whole vibe like if a nigga can't keep a straight business then i don't even want to work with you honestly like if first off, off rip like let's say not even saying you but let's just say you hit me up like yo like i want you to come on my podcast or whatever and i was like okay cool like yeah well make sure you dress like this or i'm trying to see what you're doing after or whatever like anything that's giving me a red flag sign that's like you trying to do a little too much other than business i'm gonna just dead it all the way, like dead all the way. I don't even care about it no more. If it's a feature, if it's a video, any opportunity. Like if a man is coming off on some other stuff than business, I'm not with it. That's number one. Number two, people out here will use the fuck out of you. Like they will use the fuck out of you. And it's like I don't – I honestly haven't even gotten anywhere yet. Like I feel like a lot of people are looking at me like I'm already like doing something crazy, but to me I haven't I haven't even broken in the door yet. You know what I'm saying? I'm still knocking, trying to get in. You know what I'm saying? So it's like for me to be this early in my career and for people to already be like, I don't want to really say it, but like on my dick like that. Like it's just <laughs> like come on now. It's like I'm seeing a lot of weird activity going on, and it's just like you know I see shit and I just fall back and I just peep it. You know what I'm saying? Because next time when shit come around, I'm not even finna. Say nothing. I'm going to just remember that, your actions. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, yeah, it's a lot of people trying to use use stuff. You know what I'm saying? Just like, oh, can you do this? Can you do that? And I'm just looking like, I thought you didn't even like me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Or like, it's a lot of fake love coming out of nowhere. Um, A lot of that. A lot of that. Like, really, when I tell you, like, bitches that used to want to fight me, like, it's commenting hard eyes on my picture. And I'm like, bitch, you don't still want to fight? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's up now? Like, okay, you see me doing something. Okay, okay. I see the vibe. Like, okay. But it's just like... 
yeah, like, definitely got to watch who you keep around you in your circle. And I know that's some stuff, like, a lot of people say, but that's very true. Like, and I'm only, like I said, I'm very early in the industry, and these people is crazy. Like, these folks is crazy. I got people out here I met one time going around telling me that they my cousin. I'm like, I don't even fucking know you. Like, what do you mean I'm your cousin? Like, yo, it's a small world, so why are you telling your business to? Because it's going to get it back around, and when it get back to me and you just said some bullshit, oh, just know I'm checking it always. So it's just like, yeah, um, yeah, fake people, phony people, fake people, phony people, same thing. Um, people trying to take advantage of you, that too, like thinking I'm a dumbass, thinking I don't know shit, thinking I ain't go to college, like I ain't fucking smart, like, yeah, niggas trying to use you. Yeah, look, it's, the list could go on and on and on, but I just feel like as a woman, when you come in the industry, you just got to stand on business, for real, for real. Like, just stand that's on so business. Be, man. Yeah, like, just stand on business. Like, if you saying that's what you're going there for, do that. You know what I'm saying? Don't try to let anybody persuade you to do something you don't want to do. Don't let nobody make you feel any type of way about the way you the way you act or you feel. Because a lot of girls, we got different personalities. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are judgy. It's like, yo, let's not get on you, though. You feel me? Like, let's not get on you. Maybe I was doing this at the third, but let's not get on you, though. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got their issues. Everybody got their problems. So it's just like, mind your fucking business. Like, That's let, it. Yeah, like, just mind your business. If you don't like what I'm posting, just unfollow me. You know what I'm saying? No no need for the hate. No need for none of that. You know what I'm saying? Just keep it pushing. I feel that. Mm -hmm. So from your perspective, who's more toxic, male or female? Mm. I told you I'm going to make you think, you know? <laughs> Um, I'll say males. Why? Don't look at me. I, hey, this, <laughs> I'm neutral in this conversation. Um, I'm gonna say males because I feel like men try to play stupid. <laughs> <laughs> men try to play stupid. Like we don't know what's going on. Like, and they will keep playing stupid until a motherfucker get caught. You know what I'm saying? Like motherfucker <laughs> keep playing stupid. And it's just like you believe a motherfucker, you trust a motherfucker, and then. You know what I'm saying? Just get to that point where it's like, let me let me double check this. You know what I'm saying? Then you find out some shit. You just be like, okay, bet. Like, I didn't even know he was like that. You know what I'm saying? I feel like a girl, huh, I don't know, because girls can kind of do that too. Like, it goes, I feel like it goes both ways. Cause I know some grimy bitches. Like, I know some grimy bitches. So it's like. Don't be putting them out like that. I mean, they know who they are. Oh. <laughs> I'm not saying no names. You know what oh, I'm saying? But they know who man. they are. They're going to be looking for you after this. Okay. Come on. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> but, um. Yeah, I'm gonna say I don't know why I'm gonna say men. Probably because I'm a girl. I'm gonna just say men. Because why would I say girls? So, what's the most toxic thing that happened to you? I mean, I guess I'll say this. <laughs> it was toxic. It was like what I did or what happened to me. I want both. Give me both stories. I need to. Well, hear. I'll, I'll say back in high school. That's what I'm telling you. This is a back in high school type time. Yeah, because I'm not really that toxic. Like. I have toxic things happen to me, but that was when I was with a toxic nigga. You know what I'm saying? So, like, uh, that's what happened. So, toxic you're, blaming, bitches come, you, you're, it's the, you're blaming the male for you being toxic? I feel like I, if you make me toxic, it's, How does it's a person a make you toxic? Because you, you try to start, what they call it, gaslighting. Once you start gaslighting me, I'm a Leo. So, it's like, don't gaslight me. Because you gaslight me, and I'm going to throw a whole fucking flame at your ass. Like, I swear to God. So, it's like, listen, in high school, back in high school, it was this boy that I was dating, and, like, all the girls, like, you know, they wanted to talk to him and stuff, but he was with me. So the one girl, though, she was she went to the extreme, like, went she to the OB extreme. Yes, like, her and this other girl, I'm not going to name the girls, but they know who the fuck they is. They fucking made a whole, like, fake kick account and was texting each other she back and kick. forth. Ooh. Yes, made a whole kick. shit back and forth, okay. trying to make it seem like it was him texting her. And so they sent me screenshots, like, yeah, we got the screenshots, da-da-da-da. The whole time, I'm thinking, I'm believing it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, oh, you talking to this man? da 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 Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm going crazy. The whole time, they done made the whole shit up. And the reason I found out was because after we done broke up, I basically told him, like, I need, to, I need receipts, like, Get her somehow, some way to tell me or you that she was lying about all that shit. And he basically was like, yeah, I left her. I don't really fuck with her no more. Da -da -da -da. I just want to know, like, why you so crazy? Why you did all of that? She done came out and told the whole lie, like, I only did it because you hurt me and I was trying to hurt you. Da -da -da -da. Like, just all some crazy shit. And I was just like, what the fuck? I'm like, oh, no, I got to get up out of here. Whole time now he got a baby with a girl and everything. Yup, same bitch. I'm like, see, you can't trust them bitches that they tell you not to worry about. Because them the bitches you need to worry about. I swear I'm, to God. I'm clipping that. That's yeah. a clip right yes. now. Yes. <laughs> like, a clip. Definitely. So what do you think is going to take you to get to the top? What's 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 the main goal? What's that goal to be like, all right, I'm going to bust through the door? 
consistency is gonna take gonna it's gonna take a lot of consistency, definitely a lot of consistency because that's a problem that I have. I'm hard with being consistent, so that's the thing I'm working on. Um, but definitely being consistent is gonna help me. Being persistent is gonna help me, and making sure that I'm networking with the right people, aka yeah. Because me getting on this podcast is gonna, you know what I'm saying, put me out there and get me to network with a bunch of people and they're gonna see my face and they're gonna be like, Oh, she live in Orlando because I told you I'm new here. So it's like I'm trying to make my way around. But yeah, like just being around um shows, you know what I'm saying, popping up at shows, doing different shows at different places at different times, like just being around. Like I feel like me just being around, knowing a lot of people, also my team, you know what I'm saying? They also have a lot of connects as well. So it's like really just me being on my shit is gonna get me where I need to go. And where that starts at, hopefully the government don't shut them down. But TikTok, like I swear to God, if they shut TikTok down, we still gonna get there, but you know it might take a little longer. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying. We need TikTok, like we need it. So it's like, and I've already got a little couple followers on there. So it's like, I just got, I gotta be just od consistent on TikTok. Y'all know the song like, you never told that bitch I got G's. You ever make a bitty hit her knees, bro? Do you know that song? No. I'm JP. What? Like you gotta be on TikTok? I don't be on TikTok like okay, that. Okay. Anyway, you gonna know about him? And, and, and I got. You know how the phones be listening. I swear to God, after we leave here, that he gonna pop up on your phone just because I just talked about him just now. I swear to yeah. God, it's gonna happen. But anyway, once it pop up, you gonna see what I'm talking about. But anyway, I saw his video go viral and him blow up. Like I swear, this was like a two or three day thing. Like I was watching his growth. You know what I'm saying? Because I do that too. I research other people as well. Like I seen him posting, it got like a couple of views. Nobody really knew it. I'm around the house singing in and shit. Nobody know what I'm talking about. Then like two or three days go by. You got celebrities reposting him. They doing the dance to the video. They singing that stuff. And I'm looking like, that's all it takes. Like, just one video. Like, you just got to know what you're doing. He was consistent. Like, after that one video blew up, consistent, consistent, consistent. Like, he was posting, posting, posting. Every video after that, getting 100K, 100K views. I'm like, that's how you do it. Like, keep posting. And I already went viral a few times. So, it's like, I kind of know how to go viral. But it's like, how am I going to make myself go viral with my song? You know what I'm saying? So, once I unlock that key and figure that out... It's over for these bitches. Like, I swear to God, because you it's like you got that hidden treasure that nobody know about, but once you unlock the chest, it's like it been there all along. You feel me? Like, so that's what that's how it's gonna be. Like Definitely. they waiting for a real artist, they waiting for a real bitch to come around. Like it's really finna be me. Like, but you know, again, I ain't gonna say too much, you know, I like to show, you know, my actions and stuff, go and talk for me. But anyway, yeah. I feel that. Yeah. So if you have five dinner guests, dead or alive, who would they be and why? <clears throat> well, the first that's gonna be my dad because he just passed away recently. So of course I would like to talk to my dad. Sorry for your loss. Yes. Um my dad, um <laughs> Jesus. I wanna talk to God. Like I wanna talk Amen. to God. Uh my dad, God. Uh who else? I need some like inspo, like, mm. Ooh, Diera. You know Diera? You know Diera. Ken and Diera. Yeah, don't say Ken and Diera, because she ain't with him no more. It's just Diera. <laughs> Okay. But Diera, yeah, I'm she gonna be at the table because I need that I need that all that inf- outfit and stuff she got. I need all of that advice. Um, who a real who a real money maker like? Fuck it. Beyonce, I gotta put her at the table. Like, hello? I need all the sauce. Like the fuck, I need all the sauce. Um, who I got? My dad, God, Diera, <laughs> Beyonce. This table is crazy. And who else? Um <laughs> uh, that's what I say. Like, I don't know. Oh, PNB Rock. I always wanted to meet him. Wow. Yeah, I always wanted to meet him. And uh, nobody ever said his name in here. Bro. Or ever. Yes, because niggas be sleeping on him. And I'm from up north. You know what I'm saying? I'm from Jersey. So I grew up listening to PNB Rock. Every album, every song. I'm yelling it out like, and when he died, I ain't gonna lie, I cried. Like that was my favorite artist. I was there. I ain't gonna lie. When he died, I was down too though, cause he was a great artist. Yes. He wasn't. He didn't sound like nobody for real. Yeah, and he, like, was, he was on his own on, way. He yeah. has a lot of artists with a lot of major like artists as well, and people just, I don't know. I think it's an up north thing. Niggas be hating on the up north people. I swear to God, like they do. That's crazy. Except for Uzi, everybody love Uzi. Yeah, Uzi, Uzi is Uzi. Yeah. You can't, you can't do nothing about that. Right. For sure. So. If the doctor say you had to amputate your arms, your arms now or your legs, which one you giving up? Both my arms or both my legs? Yeah. You got to give up both your arms or both your legs. <laughs> I'm going to have to say, 
I'm gonna have to say, uh, I'm gonna have to say legs. I'm gonna have to say legs. Why? Because I can still get around. Like I can still like do my little wheelchair and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Or I get the little <laughs> mobile one. You know what I'm saying? Where I could just like zoom around and shit. But like the arms, like I, I'm sorry, like, and I'm I swear, like I'm not coming at anybody that doesn't have arms. But I don't know how they do it. Like I wouldn't be able to. Like you can't do a lot of things without your arms. Like, you need your hands and your fingers. Like, I need those. So it's just like, well, how am I going to roll up? Like, the fuck? Like, no arms? Like, there's no way I'm going to be able to roll up nothing. Like, drive nothing. Actually, I've seen people drive with their feet before. I could do that. i seen it on TikTok, see? I could do that. Yeah, but I said, I could do that. And when I was in uh, high school, chill. I'm going to say a little song. Oh, my gosh. I should have told y'all this. I'm going to just say it anyway. But I used to... I probably could still do it now. I don't know, but I'm not going to try it. But I used to... um be able to write people's names with my feet on a piece of paper. And I used to do that in class. <laughs> yeah, like, wow. it wasn't something that I just did all the time. But, like, it was something, like, my friend was like, I bet you can't write my name. Because I, like, I could do a lot of stuff with my feet. Like, I could grab stuff. I could write stuff. I could. I probably could do, do like, no arms. I really could do stuff with my feet. My mom always said that my feet look like monkey toes. <laughs> but they don't. It's just because I could do a lot of stuff with my feet. But, yeah. We are monkeys, though. We yeah, basically. Like I just I know how to use my all of my tendons and fingers and toes correctly. You know what I'm saying? I use them in a correct way. Like sitting on the floor, let me just, you know what I'm saying, grab it real quick. I ain't gotta bend down. You feel what I'm saying? I just, listen. Yeah. I feel that. I feel that. <laughs> so now mm. what you value more? Loyalty or respect? Loyalty. Why? Because like I can have respect for you, but still not like you. Or, like, I can have respect for you and still, like, feel how I feel about you. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it's like you got to earn respect, but at the same time, like, <laughs> for example, E.T. Let's talk about E.T. You watch Baddies? No. Oh, my gosh. Like, you got to be up on your shit, bro. You got to be up on your Zoom. Like, what's up? You I, see everybody talk about Baddies. You don't watch Baddies. I get, is it gay I, if a boy watch Baddies by not, himself? It's because my brother watches it. Okay. But the thing is, I was a Bad Girls Club fan. Okay, well, Natalie Nunn, she got her own shit. Like, yeah, she's from Bad Girl Club. I, I need, I, I'm going I'm to tune in, but I'm not really a big fan. I'm a power I'll be watching Power. Okay, and, but Power, like, that shit ain't been around. Like, they need, speaking of Power, like, what are y'all doing? Like, what you mean? They need to hurry up and come back with the new season. BMF like, is out right now. Okay, but we That's rocking it. out with BMF, though. Okay, we rocking out with so, BMF. Yeah, <laughs> we rocking right now. I just, I just can't tune in. I'll be so busy. I can't watch TV that much. Well, anyway. At first, I was like, I don't really like E.T., you know what I'm saying? Like, she basically just, I don't really like her, you know what I'm saying? But then, like, she earned my respect at the reunion, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, I know you don't know what I'm talking about, but they know what I'm talking about. But she earned my respect at the reunion, you know what I'm saying? Like, she was really, like, catching face with everybody, like, who want to smoke? Like, you talking shit, let's fight, you know what I'm saying? Like, she earned my respect. Still might not like her for real, but she earned my respect, you know what I'm saying? Now, loyalty is completely different. Like, if I'm loyal to you, I'm rocking with you no matter what, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's through hell and back. You know Give what I'm us saying? an example, like, from your perspective, how you see it. If you were to be in that position, give us, like, a story. In what position? Like, you being loyal to somebody. What somebody has to do to show you, Lord, like, I'm going to be loyal to this person. Oh, um, say you're going to do something and me try to, like, sneak and check without you knowing and you really doing that. Like, for example. Why are you all sneaking check, though? Because I don't want you to know I'm checking because you know how, you know how niggas, basically what I'm trying to say is, if I tell a nigga, like, Oh, like, I trust you, this, that, and the third, whatever, whatever, everything going good. And in my head, I'm like, I wonder I wonder if he texting bitches. Or I wonder if he da 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 You know what I'm saying? To, you got to check the phone. Like, so you check the little phone. Don't tell them and girls look, that. Look, 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 look. And you don't find nothing. It's like, he earned my loyalty. You feel me? Like, you got to show me that you loyal. You can't just tell me. Like, I, go I have to see though. it. Hardcore evidence that you fucking loyal. Like, if I don't see it, it ain't it ain't there. But why the phone got to be the loyalty part, though? Because, like, that's that's the that's the deal breaker. That's the one that the boys always fold on every single time. Like, the boys always fold on the phone. Right, not too much on the guys, all right? Like, <laughs> damn, you they killing us right now. They fold on the right phone now. every time, I swear. She killing the fellas out here, man. But also, like, your loyalty can also be, though, like, if you really holding me down when I'm not around. You feel what I'm saying? Like if I know that you speaking highly of my name and not letting nobody talk shit about me when you when I'm not around, that shows me your loyalty as well. Like either whether she not here or not, I'm still gonna hold her down because that's my people. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with her, I'm loyal to her, like and that's what I would do for the same people who I have loyalty to. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna make sure that I'm holding it down no matter who around. And yeah, like 
always be there for them. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be loyal. If you loyal, you do. You always gotta be there for somebody too. Like I'm a uh, what they say in that movie, a 24 hour person. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm a 24 hour person. Yeah. 24 hour person. So when do you think you're like more comfortable around your partner to do certain stuff, like pass gas and shit? Like how like how many months or something? Yeah, like how comfortable you gotta <laughs> be to like um, be comfortable with that person, like burp in front of them, pass gas. I give it about like. I ain't give it about, like, two months. Two months? <laughs> two or three months. Yeah, because, like, if you don't fuck with me for real, then you don't, you're going to be, like, ill. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to love me all the way. Like, if I fart, like, you better be, like, <laughs> you better fart back and say, say nothing. <laughs> like, nah, I'm saying, but, like, it's just, like, everybody fart, you know that. So it's just, like, don't make me sit here and hold my fucking fart for two months and three months and four months because you don't want to hear it, see me fart. Like, hell no. Like, I got to fart, like. And, you know, I don't know if they know how to do black. I be making it so, it, like, it don't come out, like, real loud. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to, like, do it a little certain way. It's, like, kind of silent. <laughs> I feel that. So yeah. how would you tell somebody, like, they breast stink for real? Like, I tell them. You tell them straight up? You ain't going to, like, slide on a piece of gum like a man? You ain't going to, no. like, you going to tell them straight up? I mean, like, I'm going to follow up with the men or the gum, but I'm going to let them know, like, yo, like, this shit little woofing, like, let me get you the little, y'all you know I mean? Like, it's gonna be on a sneak tip, though. Like, I ain't gonna air you out in front of everybody, like, yo, your shit rocking. Like, now nah, I'm just like, y'all you know I mean? Like, your shit, you know what I mean? Like, huh? They gonna know. If you from, if you my friend, you from where I'm from, you know, like, y'all you know I mean? Like, huh? Like, you already know what this mean. Like, your shit rocking, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's why I told you, like, I don't really, I'm open. Like, it's just like, I'm gonna just do one of these. I'm gonna slide the gun for you. And, I, and but see, when, you, when people do stuff like that, now I'm gonna react like, "What you trying to say? My breast stink?" That's now, on you. I'm like, now I it's like, know. whoa, like I even say that, but it's just like that's why I just, you know what I mean? I feel that. So, what do you gotta say to the Orlando community? Cause you're new here. Everybody don't know who you is so far. They know who you is, but they don't know who you is for real. So, yeah. anything you want to put out on the table? Yeah. Um, to all my Orlando. Donians? <laughs> How you say that? Orlando? Floridians. Floridians. Floridians, okay, yeah. yeah. To all my Floridians. <laughs> um, I ain't here to take nobody's shine, you know what I'm saying? I'm just here to make my little own little path and the way wherever y'all at. Um, I'm ready to network. I'm ready to get busy with anybody. I'm not fighting, though. Not fighting. I don't know how some people from get busy might be, you know what I'm saying, get fight. But, no, like, you know, get busy as in let's Start get to working. work. Yeah, yeah, let's get to work. You know what sure. I'm saying? I'm definitely down to work with um anybody. Not anybody, but, you know what I'm saying? If make you, it make sense. Yeah, make it. If, Took the words right out my mouth. If it's if it makes sense, I'd rather you know what I'm saying I'm down to work with y'all. Um, shit, I don't really know. Like I didn't think about that. <laughs> <laughs> like I mean, get ready for me. That's all I'm gonna say. Like I'm definitely gonna be popping out. Y'all gonna see me around. When y'all see me, say something. Don't be corny. Don't be on that weird shit. Say. Are what's they gonna up. say something? If, if they yeah. see you on what we're all thinking podcast, they're gonna say something. Yeah, too. like say what's up. Listen, I ain't on no. I ain't on that weird shit you know what i'm saying like trying to be all exclusive and shit like say what's good you feel me say what's good i'm hella chill i don't judge you know what i'm saying if your breath's thinking that day you know what i'm saying i ain't gonna od on you you know what i'm saying i might slide you a little bit like that like, but yeah like um yeah like i'm here to stay you know what i'm saying i'm definitely gonna be staying around for a little while and just get to get real familiar with seeing me that's all i'm gonna say get real familiar with seeing me so to a young woman who wants to get herself out there what would you tell her I would tell her, don't tell everybody your business because not everybody is ready to go on that journey with you. So if you go do something, just do it. Don't ask nobody for permission. Don't, nothing. Like, just do whatever you want to do because your plan can be different from the next person's plan. So if you feel like that's your calling, you do that. You know what I'm saying? No matter what anybody say, oh, you can't do that, you can't do this. Do it. I'm telling you right now, do it. No matter how stupid you may feel the first few times you do it, do it. I'm telling you, it's going to pay off. And if you really want to put your mind to something and really do something, you have to be consistent. Like, that's all I'm going to have to keep saying. Like, you have to be consistent. You can have the worst content, but you keep posting every day. Somebody's going to be like, yo, his shit stinks. And then mad people are going to be commenting be like, yeah, his shit stinks. Next thing you know, you got 5 million views on your video. Everybody just saying that that shit stinks. It's like, <laughs> you went viral. You felt that? That was the goal. So it's like, keep your goals in mind. Keep your goals. Just always make sure you got your head straight. You're not over here worried about everybody else. Make sure you focus on yourself. Do what you got to do. Not everybody's race is going to be the same. You know what I'm saying? Some people might be a sprinter. Some people might be a jogger. Some people might be long distance. As long as we all cross the finish line, that's all that matters. So I just feel like don't compare yourself to no other bitch because you that bitch at the end of the day. And I just feel like 
100. Just be yourself. Like, be yourself. Don't ever let nobody steal your shine. And don't let no bitch try to out fucking shine you. You feel me? Like, make sure you always just feel like when you walk in the room, you that bitch. That's all I'm going to say. Amen. So, yeah, man. Shout out for, for coming through. Of course. Y'all know what it is, man. This is what we're all thinking. Podcast stories about the craft. And drop in the comments if you thought she was nervous. Because she thought she was going to be nervous. <laughs> but she seemed like I she am, had a good time. I am. I'm still nervous. Like, my hands sweaty and shit. <laughs> right. Nah, you did a great job, man. Okay, cool. Yay. <laughs> Shout make, sure, sure. make sure y'all follow me on all platforms. Go ahead. The Real Rich Girl. Okay. T H E E, not the the, because I'm the motherfucking Real Rich Girl. Um, on all platforms, and make sure y'all go check out my music on Apple Music and all the platforms, Spotify, all that good shit. You know what I'm saying? And make sure y'all just keep up with me because I'm telling y'all, the bitch is gonna be around for a real, 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 real long time. <laughs> I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to get on a couple shows I got coming up. So yeah, we're gonna talk about that. Yeah, I'm on it. So. The Real Rich Girl has blessed the World Wild Thinker Podcast Studio. Shout out to y'all. This is World Wild Thinker Podcast, Stories Behind the Craft. We out. Peace. Peace. Hey, what's that? Turn it up.